Okay, I wanted to show this little thing right here. Um, right, this part right here, this pressure solenoid. If you break this little tab off right here, which that's what happened here, and you need, you know, you don't have to go and buy one. What you do is you drill a hole in here, all the way across there, here. And you put this piece of copper wire in here. And you, you bend the edges down here and here. And that'll keep that, that'll keep that thing in there. That'll keep that in there from coming out. Uh, instead of having to go out and buy one, because the only thing is, I ordered one of these, and it said it was coming from Chino, California, and then I got to looking on on there, and and the darn thing is coming from China, and you know, and uh, so what I'm gonna do? I've tested this one; it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, put this in, and when the one comes from China. Then I'm going to put it back on eBay for sale to get my money back. But this keeps you having to wait for two or three weeks before you can get your uh, solenoid to put back in there. Now this one right here, this transducer, I ordered it and it came in quite quick, quite fast. Uh, but this one right here... Uh, since this tab broke off, then this is the, this is one of the ways to fix it. Okay, so I just thought maybe I'd let y'all know, you know, there's an alternative to, to uh, fixing this thing. So, I've done this on other connectors and it works pretty good. Okay, that's it.